Have you ever wondered how your favorite sweet and juicy mangoes are grown and processed? From farm to table, mangoes have a fascinating journey that you might not know about. In this video, I'll be taking you on a journey through the process of mango farming and processing. Follow me as I uncover the fascinating story behind the mango. So, let's get started. Mangoes are a tropical fruit that thrive in warm climates with well-drained soils and abundant sunshine. The first step in mango farming is choosing the right location to plant the trees. Mango trees require full sun exposure and well-drained soils to thrive, making them ideal for tropical and subtropical regions. Tree spacing will determine how many trees will be needed. Spacing will also affect yield, growth and the management practices of an orchard. The spacing of mango trees can vary depending on the specific variety of mango, the soil type, and climate conditions. In general, a spacing of 30 to 40 feet between trees is recommended for most mango cultivars. However, some dwarf or semi-dwarf varieties may require a closer spacing of 10 to 15 feet. After about 6 months, the mango is ready to be harvested. However, the timing of mango harvesting depends on the variety of mango, climatic conditions, and the intended use of the fruit. Mangoes can be harvested when they are mature, but not fully ripe. A mature mango will have reached its full size, changed color, and will give slightly when pressed. Mangoes are usually harvested by hand. This method is a traditional method of harvesting mangoes that has been used for centuries. Hand-picking mangoes allows for a more selective harvest. The picker can carefully choose the ripest and healthiest mangoes, resulting in higher quality fruit. This method also can minimize the risk of damaging the fruit or the tree during the harvesting process. The picker can carefully remove the fruit without pulling on the stem or damaging the surrounding branches. Hand-picking mangoes requires minimal equipment, but it's important to have the right tools. A ladder, pruning shears, and a basket are essential for successful hand-picking. When picking mangoes, it's important to grip the fruit firmly and twist it gently to remove it from the stem. Avoid pulling or yanking the fruit, as this can damage the tree and the fruit. On the other hand, labor costs are a problem in harvesting mangoes. Technologies have been developed to solve this problem. With the help of a camera and computer, this machine grips the mangoes quickly and efficiently. It will pick up, pick, and drop the mangoes into the container. Once the mangoes have been harvested, they will be transported to the factory for processing. This process is a crucial step in the production of mango products, whether for fresh mango, juice, pulp, or dried mango. The first stage of fresh mango processing is washing. This stage involves washing the mangoes thoroughly to remove any dirt, debris, or bacteria that may be present on the skin. Washing the mangoes ensures that the final product is safe for consumption and free from any contaminants. After washing, the mangoes will go through sorting and grading processes. This process ensures that the mangoes are uniform in size and shape, 
which is important for consistent processing. As I mentioned before, mangoes are also processed into various products. In this factory, let's see the process of dried mango. After washing, the mangoes are then peeled and sliced into thin strips. The sliced mangoes are then placed in a dehydrator, which removes the moisture from the fruit. The drying process can take up to 24 hours, depending on the thickness of the slices and the type of dehydrator used. The ideal temperature for drying mangoes is between 120 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. After the mangoes reach the desired dryness, the dried mangoes are ready for packaging. They are typically packaged in airtight containers, such as plastic bags or vacuum-sealed pouches. The packaging is important to protect the dried mangoes from moisture, air, and light, which can cause spoilage. 